Cirque du Soleil captivates with a timeless celebration. Be amazed by the graceful acrobatics and stunning acting. Corteo from Cirque du Soleil, now playing at the United Center. For tickets, visit CirqueDuSoleil.com. Artists use all sorts of materials to create their works of art, marble or oil paint, wood, metal. But a Chicago area couple have put together an exhibit using none of those traditional materials. Holly Holmes and Tom Burtonwood have assembled a controversial work made up of junk mail and cardboard. Here's ABC 7's Frank Maffey. It's just under the L at Staten Lake, the city's Department of Cultural Affairs open studio. For three years now, passers-by have been able to watch artists at work. Artists like Tom Burtonwood and Holly Holmes, who are putting finishing touches on a very unusual exhibit featuring a 20-foot-long tank. Well, it's a tank covered in junk mail. What, why? Well, um, you know, we're interested in provoking questions. Questions about the war, questions about commerce, questions about things that people buy and sell. They have wallpapered the entire space with sales flyers and junk mail. All the walls and that cardboard tank. But this is more than just anti-war. It is also about waste and the thousands of sheets of junk mail that come through your door every day. We thought we'd put them to good use to help us make our point. Burton, Wood and Holmes collected the sales sheets and junk mail from friends and supermarkets and it didn't take long. Um, probably about two weeks. That's all? That's all. There's that much out there? There's that much out there. They took this model of the M1 Abrams tank, they computerized it, and then they built this three-quarter size version of it that apparently is very accurate. But I still don't understand what it's all about. We stick this up on the wall, we put it on the tank. Does the tank disappear into the background? I mean, that's one of the questions we're trying to raise. I mean, you know, is the wall completely shrouded by, you know, all the things that we see in the media and, you know, all the products that are in front of us all the time? The exhibit will be on display through next Friday, August 25th. Frank Mathy, ABC7 News. Very interesting. Very interesting, nonetheless. Still ahead here on ABC7, 10 people 